Okay, let's go ahead and try this now. Um, I'm using a webcam right now, so and it's just like clipped to the bill of my hat. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get this done without shaking too much. Um, if it is, sorry about that. But um, So here's how you thread the machine. Um, I got the thread on the spool going up. Then it just comes down. You just run it through here. I usually like wrap it around once I come in here. I'll come in through the top. I'll go ahead and do it real quick for you. Probably be easier than explaining. Whoops, here we go. So you just go in through the top like this, and then I usually just wrap it, doesn't matter which side. Just go ahead and wrap it around one time. Whoops. There we go. And then you just bring it right across to this. And this is the hardest part on this machine. I don't know why they made it vertical. Usually they go sideways and it's so much easier to go ahead and do it. But the way how this is, it's notched so it doesn't really come around very easily. But that, wrap it around again. There's three holes. I usually just use the two. And try to grab it over here. You can see what I mean. It kind of pushes the thread right into that, which is kind of a pain in the butt. And then you just bring it right from here straight down to the tensioner. Just go around it like this, hold on to the thread up on top, and then just pull it, and it'll pull right in. And then what you want to do is there's a little spring piece right here. I don't know if you can see it. You just go ahead and get this, the thread to go around that so it pulls this spring back like that. Then come around to the bottom of this hook. Come up, there's this take up lever right in here. You just go right through the eye of that. Whoops, it came down. Just make sure it goes on that hook there. There you go. Pull some slack. Okay, now you want to go ahead and run it through the needle. I usually go ahead and, like whenever I put a needle in, I usually just use the thread to line it up. There's a certain way how you put it in. The bobbin is off on the side, so the, the way the hook comes across, it wants to go ahead and grab it a certain way. What you want to do is, you, there's a, a little relief on the needle right there. You want that relief so the hook can grab it. You want that on the right hand side on this particular model. So you want it to, to actually be like that. I don't know if you can see that when it goes in. And the easiest way I found to do it is actually thread the needle first kind of shaky I had a lot of coffee it's about 2 in the morning so let me thread this needle real quick uh, there's some kind of thick thread too okay so then you can just take the needle like that and so that way you can actually see where the where that groove is you put it right into the needle bar and then I usually hold it so you can actually turn the needle around this way like that just by using the thread and you want to make sure it's up there you can pull on the thread make sure it's up there real nice and tight and then go ahead and tighten down on that screw there you go your needle is set there is one little guide right here you just hold it and it just slips right in there keeps the thread from getting all like loose and everything it follows the, the needle a little better and that's it for that the bobbin is real simple it just drops right in you can actually put it in underneath the table you put your hand off on the side and it can reach reach in on the side here and see there's my hand right there and uh, the lever faces you comes toward your side see the lever it's on this side and then you just you can just go by feel put it right in open the lever the cap put it right in there there it is it's in there and here's the thread for the bobbin and the bobbin's all in there it's really simple and close that and you just hold the thread and then rotate it by hand just one revolution 
And there you go, there's your bobbin thread coming right up through the top through your throat plate. And that's it. Then, whoops, you just decide whichever feet you want. Um, I actually personally like the spring-loaded one there. See, I have a spring-loaded one. It's pretty, pretty nice. I kind of like it. So we'll go ahead and put that on there. It just slides right up. Get it in there. Tighten it up. Sorry, I'm trying to... <laughs> the way how I'm angling. I'm watching the my computer. <laughs> so I can't really look at what I'm doing too much. The way the angle is. But there you go. Now it's all set. Ready to sew. Okay, let me go ahead and get you guys so you guys aren't bouncing around the whole video that's it I'll go ahead and mount you up to a tripod and keep it steady okay